Hi there, it's Tiffany of Clarity Confidence Courage Women's Empowerment. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about why it's important to embrace the different seasons of your life and how to move through them even when it's challenging, even when it's tough, and how to move through them gracefully. Now, before we jump in, be sure to share, like, and subscribe so other smart women just like you can find and enjoy this channel and build up the lives they absolutely love. Life, like the earth itself, unfolds in seasons. And each season is marked by its own unique characteristics, challenges, opportunities. And just as the planet experiences the ebbs and flows of spring and summer and fall and winter, women also go through phases of their life, different seasons of their life. And each of those seasons offers its own lessons and its own transformations and its own eye-opening experiences from going through the curiosity of youth to the season of wisdom and maturity. The journey of a woman is, is amazing. And it's just a, a full tapestry of diverse, beautiful, sad, loving, passionate experiences and ambitions. Just like the moon, we as women go through cycles. We have a childhood cycle. We have a young adult cycle. We have a career or family cycle. We literally have a 28 day menstruation cycle. We go through menopause. All of these things give us the opportunity for growth, exploration, and renewal. Now, first let's talk about the childhood season because this is a season that I think a lot of people try to sweep over, but it's so important. So much of our childhood is about learning how to live in society. Childhood is the foundation. It's, it's the starting point where you bond with your parents or your caregivers, where you learn social skills of what is considered to be acceptable behavior or unacceptable behavior. Childhood imprints upon us who will be for the rest of our lives because childhood carries so much weight when it comes to how we interact in our adult lives, how we live mentally, physically, and emotionally. Now, if you grew up in trauma or poverty or just any difficulty or challenge, it's not just going to affect you as a child. It's going to continuously affect you as an adult because you're going to carry that with you wherever you go. Childhood is a season where you don't have control and you don't have a lot of power but it very much will be the thing that controls you and your behavior as you grow older. Now, after childhood, a woman can experience a different type of seasons at different points of her life. So there's childhood season for everybody, but some of these different seasons that come up in adulthood can affect us at different times. So for some women, there's a transition season now to this, to me, this is like spring where she may be excited about learning or, you know, getting a job or going through the job phase or going through the career phase or the life building phase. In this phase, a woman may be pursuing her education or honing her skill set, just like the earth awakens and starts a new life in the spring. This is the time where a woman may be going through a deep dive into building her life, into discovering herself, building her social networks, building her social skills as an adult, as well as dating and desiring a romantic partner. This might be a phase where women get married or go through different relationships. During this season, you may be focused on going to college or establishing a career or just figuring out what it is you want to do with your life. This season is a time of growth, of sowing the seeds that will bear fruit further down in life in the future. And let me just tell you, this is the season that requires a lot of patience because you may be going through romantic breakups. You may, may be learning how to transition from your parents' house or, you know, a friend's house, or maybe going into your own house for the first time or an apartment and really just experiences, experiencing 
the challenges of being on your own without anyone telling you what to do or how to think. This may be the time in your life where you have to play around, you know, and see what you like, play around with different jobs, figure out what you like and what you don't like, play around with different friendships, see what type of friends you should have in your life and maybe who you shouldn't. Play around with relationships, start dating and see who you don't want to date or who have a lot of red flags or who you should stay away from. This is kind of the experimentation season. It's the season where you may make a lot of mistakes and trust me, that's okay. As long as you keep going, keep moving forward, you will see progress. Now the next season is the season of exploration and self-discovery. This is the season where a woman embraces the freedom to just wander, to explore the depths of her own desires and aspirations. Now for some, this might be a time of travel, both outwardly and inwardly, where you seek to discover new cultures and new experiences and new events and new places and just different aspects of your personality. This could also be the season where you realize that you need to do a deeper inner healing work for the trauma that you may have experienced or just get to know yourself internally better and make changes in your life based on some of the things that you've gone through and some of the lessons that you've learned. During this season, you might be questioning your beliefs or ideas or may decide to go to therapy or get coaching. This may be the time that you decide to embark on solo adventures, just going away by yourself or immersing yourself in some new hobby or a new environment, something that may challenge your boundaries, challenge who you thought you were, challenge your comfort zone. This may be the time where you step away from what you knew in order to experience something adventurous and fun. This might be the time where you're pushing the limits of what is possible and uncovering hidden passions and talents that you didn't even know you had. This might be the season that you start to let go of old friendships and start to meet new people that are more in alignment with the person that you are or that you're, the, that you're becoming. You know, this may be the season where you let old relationships go because they just don't work for you anymore. Next is the season of creativity and expression. Just as our mother earth transforms her landscape in fall with vibrant colors and textures and beauty, women channel their inner creativity into various forms of expression, be it through art, through music, through writing, through gardening, or whatever you consider art, artistic or creative, even entrepreneurship, that's a creative spectrum. And during this season, you may tap into your innate talents and your passions, seeking avenues to share your unique experiences with the world. This season is a time of innovation, of harnessing creativity to craft meaningful narratives and leave a lasting impact on, on those around you and the people that are in your lives. I personally feel like I'm going through this season right now because I've really been enjoying being more creative with my speaking business, with this YouTube channel, doing more writing, and really just enjoying my own deep thoughts and ideas and magnetic creative energy that I give to other people. And it's just been a really exploratory season for me. I used to draw a lot, so I've kind of kind of got back into a little bit of sketching here and there. And I'm thinking of some new hobbies that I wanna bring into my life, again, to fuel my creative expression. So every season is different for different women, but right now, I kind of feel like I'm in my creative season. I wanna create and I wanna share my creative, creative adventures and activities with other people who actually appreciate art. Next, you have the season of reflection and wisdom. On Earth, during the winter months, it can be icy, cold, and sometimes animals will hibernate and give themselves a break. For women, this can be seen as a season of reflection and really looking at life lessons and the wisdom that you've taken on. During this season, you may decide to pause and reflect on the journey that you've traveled. Look at the lessons that you've learned, 
and the legacy that you wish to leave behind, it may be a time for deep introspection of distilling down the wisdom from all the experiences that you've had, good and bad, and passing on that knowledge to future generations, whether it be your children or your niece or your nephews or your grandchildren or your friend's children. The idea is that you're passing down wisdom and knowledge to other people and hopefully it can help their lives. During this season, you may enjoy your own company more. You may wanna be alone more. You may like to slow down a bit and be more mindful and gentle with yourself and really understanding how to embrace the fullness of life. During this season, you cherish the memories of the past, but you're excited about the dreams yet to arrive. So this is a season of reflection, maybe slowing down and pausing and just enjoying all the lessons. Now, lastly, there is the season of destruction. Now to me, this is like hurricane season. This is like tornado season. This is like drought season. This is the season where everything in a woman's life may completely fall apart. Nothing is always perfect, even in nature. Even nature shows her claws sometimes. But even the seasons of destruction have a purpose in our lives. And that purpose many times is to completely transform who we are, to pull us apart in order to build us back up. It may be that you're living a life that was not the best version for your existence. And you needed something to come along and pull you out of that old life in order for you to rebuild and have a purposeful, meaningful life. Now that might look like divorce or a death in your family or a loss of a career or the literal destruction of your home. This is a very hard phase and it can be so painful and trust me, I know, but this is the phase that gives you the clarity that you need to transform. This is the phase where you build internal resilience, you build mental strength, you build fortitude. And as the saying goes, tough times don't last, but tough people do. So even in the destructive phase, you will learn, you will grow, and you will move on and you'll get through it. Now, did you notice that when I was describing the seasons, I didn't specifically talk about an age. And the reason is, because these seasons can happen at different ages, at different times of our lives, and sometimes they can overlap. You can have your creative season with your transition season, or you can have your destructive season then with your growth season. I mean, everything comes at different ages. Some women are going to college for the first time ever in their 50s. Some women are having babies for the first time ever in their 40s. Some women are building businesses in their 20s. But some women are building businesses in their 70s. We all go through different phases of life at different times. And unfortunately for some of us, me, I've had to go through the same phase a couple of times. My life has fallen apart a couple of times. But every time I rebuild, I rebuild stronger. And I learn something. And I grow. And I say, okay, I get it now. I get the lesson. I don't have to, I don't have to experience it again. I get it. It's okay to go through different seasons at different ages. Just as the earth cycles through its beautiful and wild and creative and scary seasons, we as women go through similar seasons. And as we navigate this world and our existence, we may embrace each season differently. Some with open hearts and open minds, and some with tears and anger and rage, and some with peace and love and lots and lots of lessons learned. Be willing to find meaning and purpose and every twist and every turn and every pain and every loss and every gain and every joy of this journey. Because once you embrace life seasons, that's when you discover the true depth and richness of our own stories and the boundless potential that lies within each and every one of us. I really enjoy making this video and I really hope you enjoy watching it and learning about how as a woman we are blessed to be able to have the creativity that we have and the flexibility to have different seasons of life that take us to different peaks and valleys and to make us the unique beautiful beings that we are. 
So be sure, as always, to share, like, and subscribe so that other women can find this channel, empower themselves to grow through all the seasons, and know it's okay. It's okay to be who you are, wherever you are, and whatever you're going through. It is okay, and it's going to get better and better as we grow and as we learn. All right, ladies, I will talk to you next time. Bye.